بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اگین ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ کرومیٹوگرافی وٹ از کرومیٹوگرافی اینڈ وٹ آر ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف کرومیٹوگرافی ایز یو نو دیٹ اٹ از میڈ اپ آف ٹو ورڈس کرومیٹو اینڈ گرافی کروم مین کلر وائل گرافی مین ٹو رائٹ اوکے بیسیکلی کرومیٹوگرافی از اے سیپریشن ٹیکنیک separation technique in which mixture or components of components of a mixture components of a mixture is separated on the basis of their color on the basis of their interaction on the basis of their interaction or on the basis of charges etc so basically chromatography it is a separation technique just remember this is a it is a separation technique in which components of a mixture are separated on the basis of their color interaction or charges or can be the attraction among them chromatography technique was first used by michael sweet by Ma michael sweet who used to separate the plant extract plant extract he used the plant he used to separate the plant extract using the chromatographic technique basically in plant extract there were there are chlorophyll there were also xanthophyll and there were carotenoids carotenoids all these material in plant extracts have different color for example chlorophyll they are green in color xanthophyll they are yellow in color and carotenoids they are uh, like reddish they are reddish color so all these plant all these plant extract they were separated on the basis of their color basically he used a column this column was provided with a stopper like this one okay and he filled the column with for example with with a cotton swab with cotton swab or with cotton and then he filled this column or with calcium carbonate he filled this column with calcium carbonate and then in this calcium carbonate he poured some solvent he poured some solvent which was organic in nature or some organic solvent he poured some organic solvent inside this then he introduced his plant extract then he introduced his plant extract then he saw there were for example this was chlorophyll chlorophyll made a layer with over here then the xanthophyll they made a layer over here 
and then the carotenoids they made another layer for example over here so and then after some time he collected xanthophyll then after xanthophyll he collected the uh, he collected the reddish then he collected the yellow color yellow color xanthophyll and then after xanthophyll he collected the then after xanthophyll he collected the chlorophyll so on the basis of color so on the basis of color he separated different plant material so on the basis of color he separated different plant materials so this was the first time that michael sweet he used this chromatography technique okay now in this chromatography techniques you can see that he used some solvent then plant extract and then calcium carbonate ca co3 the phase which was not movable that phase was called as stationary phase stationary phase while the phase which was moving that was called as sorry the moving part was plant extract so this part was called as mobile phase so basically in chromatography we have two phases basically in chromatography we have two phases one phase is called stationary phase okay and the other phase is called as mobile phase mobile phase the stationary phase is basically the non movable phase non movable movable phase sorry for my writing or you can also say that a static phase a static phase or a static substance which is used in chromatography that phase or that substance is called as stationary phase which cannot move cannot move which is st static that phase is called static phase it can be solid or it can be liquid it can be a solid phase or it can be a solid or it can be a liquid let me give you the example over here in this example the calcium carbonate or cuco3 which michael sweat used was stationary phase so this was solid this is a solid so he used calcium carbonate as stationary phase while you may have known about paper chromatography what happens in paper chromatography that we have a box like this and in this this box a paper is hanged a paper is hanged and a mobile phase is introduced this paper a small portion of this paper is inserted or is dipped inside the mobile phase this paper is basically this paper is basically stationary phase 
stationary and a stationary phase but this paper is made up of cellulose cellulose if you see the structure of cellulose it is like this the water is trapped inside this cellulose the water is trapped inside this cellulose which is basically a liquid in nature so what happens over here this water they it interact with the color or with the substance with the substance this water interact with the substance or with your molecule of with your desired molecule you, which you want to separate this water interact with that molecule instead of cellulose so we can say that this water is acting as stationary phase stationary phase this water is acting as a stationary phase so the stationary phase can be solid or it can be a liquid phase depending upon the requirement or depending upon the uh, property of the of your desired material so we use that kind of stationary phase or that kind of mobile phase then the other phase which we have is the mobile phase mobile phase is basically that phase which is movable movable phase or a moving substance or phase that is your mobile phase okay that is your a mobile phase which is moving mobile phase again it can be liquid or it can be a gas if mobile phase is liquid then we call this type of chromatography a as liquid chromatography liquid chromatography while if a gas is used as a mobile phase then that type of chromatography is called as gas chromatography okay if liquid is used then that type of chromatography is called as liquid chromatography or if a gas is used as a mobile phase then that type of chromatography is called as gas chromatography okay no which type of mobile phase and which type of stationary phase should be used let's write over here as mobile phase mobile phase and stationary phase if mobile phase is polar then your stationary phase should be non polar or if your mobile phase is non polar then your stationary phase is should be polar let's understand this why polar and non polar why non polar or polar as you know that like dissolve like this means that a polar molecule or a polar solvent or a polar substance will dissolve polar one while non polar one non polar it will only dissolve non polar substances or non polar molecule so in chromatography what we do we want to separate separate if 
our mobile phase is polar. If our mobile phase, which phase, which is moving phase, if it is polar, so what will happen? It will dissolve the polar substance. It will dissolve the polar substance. And if our mobile phase is non-polar, it will dissolve non-polar sub substances. If we have a mixture of both polar and non-polar substances, we have a mixture of polar and non-polar substances. And we want to and we want to separate them. So, for example, if our mobile phase is non-polar, so what will happen? It will dissolve non-polar substance. For example, over here, this is our column and our stationary phase is polar while our mobile phase it is non-polar and we are adding mixture which contain both polar plus non-polar substances non-polar substances so what will happen this non-polar substances these non-polar substances they will be dissolved and pass out this non-polar substances they will be dissolved and will pass out which can be which we can get over here which we can get over here this solvent or mobile phase plus non-polar substance. We will get this mobile phase and non-polar substance over here. While the polar one they will attach with the, the polar substances will be attached with the polar one. So, we can easily separate the non-polar portion of our mixture by dissolving it into the mobile phase and then collect the mobile phase into a beaker okay so easily we can collect it collect this so this is the idea between uh, mobile and stationary phase if your mobile phase is polar then you will use a non-polar stationary phase if your mobile phase is non-polar then you will use a polar stationary phase you cannot use polar mobile and polar stationary or non-polar mobile and non-polar stationary phase. So, these both should be opposite to opposite to each other. Okay. If you need some more information, please tell me in the comment box and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.